Hey, thanks for joining me again. This is Niall Engfield from Trademark Craft, and today we're going to be talking about how a brand is related to a trademark. Now, brands and trademarks are two separate things, even though Trademarks often protect brands. So if you take a, the example of Ford, you have the Ford Motor Company, uh, that's a brand. And then below that you have sub-brands, uh, Ford and Lincoln, and uh, Ford Trucks probably. And then below those you have the model names of each of the cars. So the uh, XLT, uh, Ford Focus, Ford Mustang, you know, uh, F-150, and so on. And those are each brands in their own right. So the overarching brand might have much broader scope than the particular model brands and so on. And uh, what a lot of small businesses do is uh, if they have an overarching brand and a number of uh, sort of smaller brand lines and they want to keep their brand budget in check, they can file for the overarching uh, mark and then use a common law trademark uh, to protect some of the smaller product uh, lines, especially while they're getting going. So if they're in an experimental phase or they're just trial products, then they might uh, get some common law protection. Um, and to do that, they're going to have the mark and then the mark and then afterwards in superscript, it's going to say TM. So TM stands for trademark. It puts people on notice that that's your brand that you're using. and you basically get the protection within the geographic area and within the dates that you used the mark in commerce. So when you go to file a registration later on, you can actually backdate that registration to the date you started using the common law trademark. Does that make sense? So basically, you know, trademark protection doesn't start with the registration, it starts with use of the brand. Uh, advertising, um, sale, putting the product brand on the packaging, on the product, all these are going to be helpful for your brand, um, locking your brand protection down with a registered trademark. Now we've seen some cases where the brands and the, um, the registered trademarks don't entirely coincide. So if you have a, a descriptive name for your brand, um, then you may not be able to get a registered trademark, but you can still use that brand in the marketplace, even though it's descriptive, as long as you, uh, you mark it with a TM to let people know that it's your trademark. And down the line, if you can show that you've acquired distinctiveness over that trademark, then you can, you can actually register it. So um, it's a process of continued use, documenting that use, and then you know, down the line, using that use evidence to um, to get a registered trademark for your for your brand. And we've seen some other brands that say are people's last names, which aren't on the face of it trademarkable, but again, through continued use and acquired distinctiveness, you can get that surname registered for your uh, products and services through a registered trademark. So it's all a question of use, documenting the use, keeping records of sales that have involved that trade, uh, that trademark, that brand, and then filing down the line. And don't forget to use the TM in superscript beside your new brand name.